Morning guys, we're over here at the Avatar Crystal Mine. Uh, I've never been here before, so we're gonna try it out and uh, see how it goes. So one of the things I'm looking forward to here at Avatar, this is their opening weekend. It's Saturday, they opened yesterday. Um, so hopefully there's gonna be plenty of uh, fresh stuff still in the tailings piles uh, that I'm gonna look through. And uh, you could also work a wall. So for the first uh, hour or two, I'm gonna try um, looking through uh, uh, the tailings for surface uh, searching, uh, that type of a thing. Um, just cause the ground's still cold, it's like 40 degrees maybe. And uh, I don't feel like digging just yet. I wanna um, get familiar with the property. Uh, I've never been here before, so I don't know the grounds. And uh, so I'll do some surface searching at first. And then uh, for the, like the last half of the day, I'm gonna try to find a vein and uh, we'll dig into that and see how it goes. So the drive back here is actually really, really pretty. Uh, it's a one lane road, but there are several pullout areas in case there's another car coming. Well, it's about 20 after nine. Uh, we're, we just got here, we're gonna get set up um, and we're gonna be doing some surface searching. Where this uh, fence area is right here, we can dig anywhere within this fence area from here on that wall right there. It's pretty dangerous. Uh, it's pretty steep right there and pretty loose dirt. So we're not gonna be mining over there. They've got that sectioned off. Uh, but on this side of the fence over here, there's uh, several veins that we can go check out. She said there's nothing past that fence really. Uh, so I'll probably spend a lot of my portion of my morning right back in this section right here. All right, so I got my first crystal of the morning right here. It's a pretty little thing. Right up above it, I see another one right here. So I've been finding a lot of little baby points basically all over the ground over here. That one right there looked like it was a little beat up. But there's been several that I pulled off camera, just like little ones. But they're all connected to something or came off of something. That sun was catching that, uh, that one there. Well, within a couple of minutes, I've found quite a few. Just gotta find that shiny with the, the sun do its, its work. So we're down here in the pit area. See a couple of veins right there. We could start working here after a little bit. Here's my buddy Chris from Right Rocks. Been finding all kinds of uh, little sparklies. Uh, just a lot of uh, small points all over so far. Um, most of them have really good clarity too, so that's been really nice. There's Tony right up there. He has his daughter with him. All right, so here's a cluster. Just laying here. Looks like it's got a couple of good points on there. So here is a cluster. See that there's a little point right here above my finger. I've been finding a lot of little points. The points are connected to something. Kind of looks like a, a chisel tip a little bit on that point. Look at that face, that diamond face. Really pretty. So here is a cluster that has a bunch of little baby points all over it. I don't think I'm going to take this one though. I think I might leave this here for the next person. Right next to it. Right down here. Looks like there's another piece. Probably the same stuff. I might keep this one though, it's smaller. Naturally flat on the bottom. Ooh. Another little one. Really pretty. So this cluster here, has several points on it. It looks pretty rough up there. Those are pretty nice right there. Check out those, uh, uh, I don't know if that's iron staining or if that's technically a golden healer. 
That's really pretty. Check out this plate. I broke it off of that large rock. You can see through it even though it's dirty. I think they call these a glass bag. Here's that piece after I washed it off with some water. I still have some cleaning to do on it, as you can see some clay in between some of the crystals. Alright, so I wanted to get a little bit closer look at some of these veins. It's going to be really hard rock mining. Um, looks like a lot of smaller points along here. Nothing really big, but if we start separating some of this stuff, maybe some bigger things will pop out. Same thing over here. A lot of uh, smaller stuff coming up through here. More smaller stuff. Over here as well. Well, I guess I'll go and get some equipment and peck away at this a little bit, uh, see what I can find. So I've been finding several large rocks and on these rocks, are plates um, where there's a lot of damage, where there's nothing on it. And then there's a couple of, um, there's a couple of points on there, like you see right there, which are nice. So what I think is, uh, what I think is happening is that uh, some of these points are being broken off and that's how we're getting a bunch of little small points that we're finding all over the place, is that they're just breaking off of plates like that right there. So I soon discovered that if you want a million small little um, jewelry type points, this is the place for you. You can find them all over the surface. Here's a beautiful little tabby. Lots of little small ones. We're all breaking off of something though. Beautiful. I can see them everywhere. It's like freaking me out. Alright, so my best find of the day so far. There's a trail where I have my cart right up there, right along the edge. There's been a whole bunch of little smaller points, but this one here is just a little bit bigger than some of the smaller points. Nice. Here's the trail coming down. There's my cart. I came up here to my cart to get a few extra tools. And when I was bent over, I saw this land right here in the trail. Beautiful point. It's got a little bit of damage on it right there, but we'll take it. And of course, since I'm digging here at Avatar, I have to have blue buckets. I thought that the blue buckets would be appropriate. I don't speak Navi, but that's okay. So Abby just found this, a golden healer. Check out that extra window. That's beautiful. She's also got this uh, smoky uh, I think it's, I think it might be a phantom. Yeah, I have this one too. Another healer. Check that out. Isn't that pretty? So I managed to break this little cluster off of a really large rock. It's got some nice little yellow points on there. Alright, so I'm going to try working on this wall a little bit. Um, I tried right over there. But for this one right here, it seems like the vein is opening up a little bit more. And so it shows some promise with all these uh, little points around here. And even over here along this vein right here. Uh, going up through here. So what I think I'm going to try to do is remove this 
section of the sandstone to see what's on the back side of it. Well, it's 11.15. I finally got a little bit of progress. I managed to uh, get a piece off of right here. It's been a lot of work. Um, sandstone is actually pretty tough. I knocked off a piece over here earlier, didn't have anything on it. And so I'm still trying to remove this whole section right here. But it looks like there's some uh, some good stuff underneath there. It's just going to be a lot of work to get to it. I might be here all day. Here's what that piece looks like after I washed off most of the clay and dirt. There's still a little bit of clay in between some of the cracks of the crystals, but overall it's pretty clean. So I, I just knocked off another piece. Um, I find that whenever you're rock counting and you're chiseling away at something, the hardest part is getting the first piece off. Once you get that off, it helps create some natural breaks for you to use on your chisel. And let's do the flip for the reveal. And there's a lot of breakage in there, unfortunately. See all these pieces right here above my thumb? They were all connected up above. I think a lot of these pieces right here were connected where the two seams. All right, this rock has crumbled some, so when I uh, remove it, what will happen is if I take this top piece off, these bottom ones here I think are going to want to fall. So I'll start here at the bottom. Uh, just sandstone, and then you can see where the uh, crystals are starting. I don't know about this right here. That looks like it might be a point with some mud in there. I'll go ahead and keep this piece. Oh, all right. This right here should just be sandstone. Yep. And we'll flip it for the reveal. And we have a couple of points. And you can see where it was connected right there, the two seams, the top and the bottom. Here's a look at that piece all washed off. There's still a little bit of clay in between some of the cracks, but overall it's pretty clean as well. One thing I noticed when I zoomed up is there's some extra little diamond-shaped windows in some of the points. Also, some of the points have some iridescence on them. Really, really pretty. sandstone out of the way. So underneath this mud right here, there should be some points down there. Going all the way up here. This right here is a lot of sandstone dust from uh, breaking off the other pieces. This is from that first cluster that I just showed you a minute ago. This is from the second cluster um, that didn't really have much. It had more kind of damage on it. But this is the outside of the rock. I think once we get further inwards, uh, we should have uh, some bigger points. I got another little uh, piece uh, broken free. Let's flip this over for the reveal. And a lot of clay and broken pieces. Hopefully up in here, I get some, uh, some good stuff here in a minute. All right, got the next piece ready to go. We'll do a flip. And we got some points. Nice. Came right there. Right there's the mud. Um, we'll chase that here in a little bit. I'm going to keep trying to work on the rest of this stuff up here. But for now, I'm happy with some little points. Here's a look at that piece after it's been sprayed off with a hose and had some light scrubbing with a brush. So this material is really, really difficult to work. I'm having a really hard time with it. Um, I've exposed some stuff right here that I've taken off and you can see all the little shiny um, points, these little dark things. Um, those are your shiny black glass that you're looking for. See all the little points uh, going up through here and up along here. But the material is really, really difficult to work. 
with just hand tools. I wish I had uh, my battery operated uh, rotary drill. I could just have some fun with this, but it is taking forever. I cannot hardly get this piece off. I think the quartz has grown into the quartz coming up this way and it's like one solid chunk because uh, it's not budging at all. I've got it all broken up along the top and along the edge and it's basically all the white that you see right there. That's just me breaking into quartz um, from the plate underneath. And so I think these two are here kind of grown together solid. Kind of like how this right here is grown together solid uh, going around over here. Let me move my crowbar. But there's a few points and stuff in here uh, going down and over here. I was hoping that uh, this seam right here coming up um, is just going to be two, like a plate going this way and a plate going this way with uh, like teeth uh, kind of intersecting a little bit. Uh, but right now this is proving really, really difficult just to get up. I, I think it might be solid is why. Uh, I hope I'm wrong. We'll see. All right, so I started chiseling away on the bottom part and just picking up uh, pieces at a time. I'm hoping, I think all the points on this right here are gonna be really itty bitty, but I'm hoping they'll be really pretty also. They've got uh, a clay layer right there and there's a bunch of loose of the sand from that sandstone. But I'm gonna keep um, working at this and try to get all of these little, these little points um, running down through here. That way at least I have something. All right, so I'm slowly uh, taking away this bottom plate right here. And there's one point right there I'm trying to get to. I just started chiseling over here and I'm gonna see if I can't uh, keep that all connected. There's a whole bunch of little smaller points going down. You see all the little dark um, triangles kind of poking up there in between all the sand. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to keep that intact. We'll see. So it didn't quite go as planned. And that piece just broke off all by itself. I hit it, and this busted, and it all just crumbled apart just like that. So I decided to take a little break away from working on that wall for a little bit to give my legs a little break. And I walked around, I found a couple different clusters, and I'm going to try to separate some of the plate right here off. So I don't have all of this extra, so I don't have all this excess of a rock. The other crystal plate I found is over here. Looks like it has a lot of nice uh, smaller points all throughout. Some of these up here have some damage, but it should still be pretty nice once I get it all out, hopefully. It's little, but it's pretty. So I've got a nice big rock right here, probably weighs about 40, 50 pounds. And it's got a few nice clusters on here, a few nice points. I think that's loose, yep, that is too. I'm gonna see if I can't break off some of this rock and get just that, uh, just get that plate right there so I don't have to have this huge, uh, this huge rock. All right, I've got it cracked. I wanna see how the plate is gonna pull out. Oh, it's broken. But still happy with that. I'm going to try to get some more of that right there if I can. Here's that cluster after I've got it washed off with the hose. I also scrubbed it lightly with a brush just to help remove some of the clay in between some of the cracks. Here's a quick look at it from the other side. I still got my chisel uh, embedded down there in it. See, I put my hand over top of it to kind of help hold it. Okay. Oh, I might need to give that another hit. It's still... There you go. Let me try this out. Some of the little small points fell down there. Put that there. Put that 
there. One last little cluster. So there's a few uh, golden points on here I'm going to try to get off if I can. The rock itself is probably a good solid 150 pounds. Um, it's really big and there's just a few crystal pieces on here. Most of them are broken like people have already uh, taken things off. So that's what I'm going to try to do is just try to take those last couple points off. But check out this iridescent. If I can get the camera to focus. Got some damage on it, but it's still a really pretty point. It's got an extra window right there. Lots of golden on there. We get this cleaned up and get a lot of that dirt off of there. It should be really pretty. Here's a better look at this piece after it's been all washed off. I had no idea that some of that iridescence was on there. Look how deep some of those colors are getting. Really, really cool. Now was this one a um, a dig or was this a surface find? I'm going to assume it's dig because yeah. yeah. That hole right there. Yeah, that's a really nice piece. Now this one and the last one were uh, were from a dig yeah. right out of the hole. So if you guys just work a uh, work the pit a little bit, you'll find some really nice stuff. Check out that extra window, some iridescence on this golden healer. Beautiful point. So I'm just leaving Phantom Cove and I'm headed over to Tabby Circle. My friend Tony got this piece. I walked out that one out. Uh huh. <laughs> Better now. Well, it's pretty cool that the top half is so clear and the bottom half has that rainbow. Uh huh. It's a beautiful piece. Did I hear you from Texas? Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a surface find right here above my finger. It's pretty hard to see if you don't get that glare. But it's pretty clear. It should be really pretty cleaned up. Just pick this piece up right out of the mud. I'm hoping it'll be really nice all the way through. I'm gonna leave that clay on there to help uh, protect it in transit. Tiny but mighty. I think I'll go ahead and keep it. So I'm here with Chris Wright with uh, Wright Rocks, and he's got a couple of plates he wants to show off. Can I see this one? Check out all those goldens. That's beautiful. Sitting right on the surface. And that one was barely sticking out of the ground. Mm-hmm. If you guys want to see these all cleaned up, be sure to check out his uh, YouTube page. Uh, there'll be a link for it in the description below. So over the next minute or two, I want to share with you a couple more of my finds 
along with a few finds from some of the other miners that were there that day. Those are really, really pretty. Uh-huh, it's beautiful. Oh, that's pretty. Wow. I'm gonna get me that one. That curve's on top. Man, what a beautiful double terminated. That rain. It really is. It's got a little, little bitty sidecar on there right there. Nice. I got it. Okay. I got it. Avatar oh, crystal mine. Yeah, Lots of pretty I know. stuff. I got it right in the middle. Oh, oh yeah, lovely. Good job. He found it walking. He found it walking. Yeah. So, wife would tell me you could get stuff. Yeah, I was, I was walking by it and I said, look, honey, there it is, right? Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. God bless.